once again, please take your seats, please. Okay, Diana. Uh, hello, could you please introduce your team, your family, your support, I guess? Well, first, let me start from Boris Dakovic. Uh, this is our handsome dancer that will be on stage with me. And then we have three backing vocals, Jelena Pajic, Jelena Juric, and Sanya Bogosavljevic. They're all very experienced in Eurovision already. Uh, our director, Igor Vasorovic, uh, and uh, one of the songwriters, Boris Milan. Yes, it is a lot. And now, the lap here, actually. Okay, you had a couple of days already here, so maybe this time you have a more concrete answer to what have you seen, what was the food, and your impression of Kiev. Uh, yesterday we had this beautiful tour in the open bus. And I must say that Ukrainian people are very welcoming. Uh, we have this great host uh, that really showed us around and she uh, really seemed to uh, talk about Kiev with such pride and love that she transferred it to us. And we really loved it. But we're definitely going to take some more time uh, when we are done with all the rehearsals and the official stuff. We're going to take some time to really go and look uh, around the city. Great. Thank you for your impression. Talking about serious questions, yes. you had the second rehearsal today. Yes. Could you please share your emotions, the um, difference between the first one and the second? I guess there are different feelings on the first, when you come to the first to the stage as the second, maybe you did some changes to your uh, performance. There were changes. I was uh, kind of getting used to where the cameras are. Now they've changed, so I need to get used to it again. Uh -huh. Following the cameras, was my I got this look to the camera. But overall, it's just uh, you know it is what it is. You, you perform your song and you try to do the best you can. So my first and the second rehearsal impressions for myself were good. Mm -hmm. So you're satisfied with the result? Yes. Could you please dive into some um, into deep? Into deep, yes. <laughs> Dive into deep so that everyone could understand what is your outfit about, what, what is the uh, LED screen is messaging the public and everything. Maybe uh, it's better for our That's director true. to answer the question about the staging and everything about the... the do you have Please a... pass the microphone. Yes. There, yes. Uh, so the basic idea uh, of ours it was water and it's basically a love song. I don't think that actually we should, uh, we should say what we wanted to say. I think that this is a song at the stage it was uh, meant for everybody to discover what they feel about, uh, about our staging and that song. But, you know, it's a love song, so we tried to start slowly with the staging. Wow. And, and, yes. Yeah. Uh -huh, okay. Um... The next question would be uh, about your expectations uh, from this uh, year Eurovision Song Contest because you already experienced one. Yes. You've been in 2011. Yes. Uh, could you please um, tell us what do you think this year is going to happen? Well, uh, I really love my song, mm -hmm. which is maybe the number one thing because you really want to go to Eurovision with a great song. Uh, my expectations are First, now since we're uh, what we're waiting for a semi-final, so our expectation is to go to the finals, mm -hmm. and then we'll have another press conference, and we'll talk about their expectations in the finals after we are in the finals. Okay. That will be for now. Okay. So we, we are expecting press conference, press conferences to the finals. So yes. we, it's, yes. it's, <laughs> that is the expectation for now. Yeah. Okay. Uh, should we move on um, to the? Or yes, for the question, you please first. Alex <coughs> Alexander Istic from ESC Serbia. Uh, great performance. I have a question regarding the dress. Okay. Um, who designed it? And uh, for me, it really resembles a jellyfish with the umbrella shaped uh, bell. Uh, was that the idea to actually connect everything with water and 
you so I can eat the jellyfish. <laughs> Maybe. Thank you. The jellyfish would have more of the, the, those little parts. We need to cut it so it can really be enough. Uh, well, the dress was designed by Anna Trojus Krajkovic, who is one of Serbia's best designers. And um, no, I did not plan to look like a jellyfish. I'm, not, I'm sorry if you feel like it's an animal. But okay, since it's water and it's uh, the water world, let it be, you know? Uh, we always leave uh, everything to people's, um, as I was saying before, uh, you know, you hear the song the way you want to hear it, you see the, the staging the way you want to go from your perspective. So okay, the jellyfish perspective can also be, you know, accepted. Okay, uh, thank you. The, uh, it is all about as long as I'm not Ursula. Uh, uh, Medusa, or what's the what's that? No, <laughs> no, no, no. Uh, so uh, of course it's all about people, but you have your own message in this song. Could you please, like uh, in a couple of words, say the main message to the world from this song? This song is, uh, as you would, you know, the song is a love song, but. Uh, we can always interpret all different songs in the way that, you know, in different ways. So when, what we did with staging is, as you see now, you can see that there's the, the, the whirlpool that I'm saving boys from the whirlpool. So you can kind of figure out that all these um, relationships that we have in life that are not really so good for us and that we feel like they're too much. Uh, we don't have to like fall in that world, but we can take it as a lesson and just like, move on from it and save ourselves. And, uh, you know, we always, everybody's felt uh, like they, they lost their minds over someone or something, but it's not the end of the world. Mm -hmm. We're not going to die. And uh, thanks, you one. Yeah, we're not going to drown. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, thank you so much. Okay, the next question from you, please. Hi, Tiana. My name is uh, Ian Fowell. I'm from the SDCovers.com. Uh, Back in 2011, you were on the Eurovision stage yes. uh, with Nina. I was wondering if uh, Nina has messaged you at all uh, to wish you good luck or give you any tips for this week at all? She did. She did message me and uh, she was uh, sharing on social media our promo video and everything. I mean, Nina is a great girl. She lives in Australia, actually, and got her PhD in pharmacy, so she's but she's still singing. So you see music, you never really quit. You can be, you know, the, the doctor of science, but you still, you know, if you're talented for music, that's what you do. And Nina is great. She gave me support and a lot of other uh, other girls that were participating. One was the main of Sanya Vucic, Yellow Tomasius. They were all very supportive. Thank you so much for your answer. Yes, you please. Hello, my name is Peter Werner from Germany, Batalo Rundschau. I have a question, could you sing the a cappella version of your song? Yes, of course. Yeah, that's really yeah cool. we were waiting for that. <laughs> cool. <laughs> Serbia. I know her since uh, 2015 with Vienna. We 
internet there. Uh, me and my team, we did a song for Macedonia back then. And last year, we met again when we did a song for Poly. And so we, have, we always kept in touch. And this year, it was just that, uh, that uh, we sent five songs. And RTS liked into it the most. And uh, after that, uh, it was searched for a singer. And uh, by far, Tiana was the best choice that Erta has made. That's, that's the story. Great, <laughs> thank you so much. <laughs> yes, you please. I'm happy to uh, Sorry. Hi. It's uh, Martijn van der Veen, Eurovision artist, The Netherlands. I heard that you uh, sang or uh, played also in a hip hop and dance band uh, when, uh, 17 years ago. It's called Chess. I don't remember. <laughs> you don't remember? So how do you know about that? Ah, yeah. Yeah, they okay. 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 to work. Okay. Uh, okay, but uh, my question is, uh, do you still enjoy uh, hip-hop music or not anymore? Of course, I've, uh, so, 17 years ago, maybe it was even more, I was really a teenager. It was just like a dance demo group, had a couple of demo songs. I've, uh, I've collaborated with so many different artists, uh, through, like, over these 20 years, how long am I in music? Um, uh, my favorite one is the big band Brass Orchestra. So it was like some standards, some jazz music. Then my band that's own, that was playing like rock music and soul. Uh, and of course I love hip hop. I live in America now, so hip hop is very much <laughs> a mainstream there. So I listen to that too. I, I like collaborations in uh, stepping out of my comfort zone a lot. Even the Eurovision song that I'm singing is definitely something a little different than what I'm actually recording in Serbia. So I just, I feel like I always want to step out of my comfort zone and do something new. Yeah. How do you feel confident? Of course, of course. Because when you are a, when you are a professional, you know, and when you are, okay, I'm not going to say for me that I'm a great singer, so others can say it, but when you love music, you just want to, of course, do everything that you can. You just you don't want to limit yourself. For sure. Yeah. I wish, um, and I wish, I'm sure, you will do everything you want and you have to yeah. to do your best. I wish you could have try this very um, local and the pleasant note we are finishing because we don't have any okay. time. Okay. Thank you. Thank you, Thank you very so much. much. Thank you. I wish you good luck.